Hey, Doug, so here for Doc Sports, and today is Friday, September the 22nd, and this free pick is for Saturday the 23rd. That's right, I don't have a play free play today for to, uh, for uh, anything, actually. I uh, didn't <coughs> like much in baseball, or I didn't like any of the four games. I looked at them all week, tried to find something, and then a couple of lines moved, and Lost interest. So nothing on that. So I'm going right to Saturday for today's free play. But I'm not going to leave you without anything on, on Friday. i got the West Coast Wise Guy play for Friday. And uh, let's see here. I Oh, I, I know they did the video the other day with you saw with Scott Spritzer and, uh, the, uh, on that one. And I will work out something to get a West Coast Wise Guy play for you. Okay, I can't say it necessarily within the context of the show, but probably, <coughs> excuse me, we'll put it with uh i'll just write it up okay for you in the comment section so that'll get solved this next week on that um so but if you watch that with scott and i uh you picked up two winners i had the under and georgia state and um coastal carolina and the giants or uh, the giants <laughs> san francisco okay on that one so so i'm ready to go with more uh action today and so uh so today on friday got a l number of things going Got my CFL game of the week, Canadian football, 11 and 6 run uh, on the season. So, have a very good season to date and looking to add to it with the with a game today. There's two games today in CFL. I got one of them. So, you can check that out. Dug up some page at Doc Sports. Also, have a Major League Baseball play. I lost it yesterday. Still, five, I've hit five of the last six, 54 and 31, over 61%. And I got my National League game of the day. Okay, also available, and, and it's in a really great situation, by the way. So those are both available. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then, of course, football. Okay, I got uh, lots of action. I got uh, eight plays going over three days. So that's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Four in college and four in the NFL. Best bets on Saturday and Sunday. Both of those are six units, and everything is available at the Dugupstone page. So if you want all eight plays, you can get them. If you just want the best bets, you can get those. And then if you just want to get the Monday game, you can do that as well. So all available. Dug up some page at Doc Sports and uh, looking to do some damage this week. Let's just put it that way uh, from across the board in football, along with, with, some, with some other sports. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so at this moment. Subscribe. And then when, once you're – because of what, free picks, 45 and 23? 45 and 26, excuse me, 45 and 26. Fantastic record there, West Coast Wise Guys, 239, 174. So that's also an excellent record uh, long-term as well. My record's very good long-term as uh, too, but, you know, just um, giving them the props for that one. So uh, subscribe to the channel and then also go into the settings and hit the alert bell so that uh, all you have to do then is have it come right to you. That is simple, okay, from, from that standpoint. I see more comments have been coming. That's good. I, I'm diligently trying to do this, but got a lot of other things going on with this. <clears throat> and then finally, just want to let you know, uh, Scott and I did start our uh, Us Against the Spread show. So that is available uh, at, at usagainstthespread.com. Let me start over again. Usagainstthespread.docsports.com. Okay, so that's that's where you can get that at, um, and so that and that's twenty dollars for all of our all of our NFL uh, combined NFL picks, and we also did college. Obviously, we did the college ones already gone. If you but if you're interested, you can still get it if you wanted to purchase that. Now, just just to be clear, our best bets are at Docs. Okay, at the regular web pay, at the web, regular website on our page pages, and then the other we have other plays that were on our list. Of, of games that we liked. And so we have, uh, we have, we offer a, a bunch of opinions on those. Some of them we really like, they just didn't quite make the cut. So I just want to make there's, there's a clear delineation between those two elements. So I just wanted to make sure that you understand that uh, from that standpoint, you're not going to get our best bets on that. Okay. Th those are, those are separate, but you, you get a ton of free picks. Uh, what nine, tw uh, 15 and nine, 24. Okay, uh, picks uh, on 24 different games this from for this upcoming weekend starting Saturday. So that's available for $19.99 a month at at uh, us against the spread. Okay, so check that out. All right, let's get to today's free play. All right, free play. Alabama, Mississippi. Oh boy, this is a this is a really 
somewhat of a perplexing game. Um, the assumption is Alabama is still Alabama, especially in an SEC contest, especially in Tuscaloosa. But there's some things that Alabama has gone for them. You've seen that they've dropped in the polls, and I'm not saying polls are exactly correct, but I will say that my own power ratings have Alabama, I believe, 17th or 18th. Okay, so where where they're at, it's justified. They have not looked good. They have weakness at quarterback. Um, you know, it's a problem. Their offensive line has been deteriorating the last couple of years. They've had quarterbacks that were skillful and wide receivers that were skillful that helped cover that up. But you ask anybody that knows anything, for example, about SEC football, Alabama has not had, um, not saying anywhere close, but often in the past, they were either first or second best offensive line in the in the conference. That is not the case, and that has not been the case, and it definitely is not the case this year. All right, so they there's some issues there, and there's some defensive issues too. They've, they've got young players in the secondary, so there's some things, okay, about Alabama. Now, really wanted to take Ole Miss in this spot, like Mississippi, kind of like what what they have going on, but you know I can't help but watch their last two games against Tulane and Georgia Tech. Against Tulane, they did not face their uh, Tulane starting quarterback, Bragg. Um, he did not play. And so with that, you know, they ended up got two late touchdowns to cover the spread there. Got a ton of points in the fourth quarter last week against Georgia Tech to cover the spread. So even though it looks impressive on, you know, just looking at the basic numbers, the fact is, they're pretty fortunate in some ways. Now, did they get the job done? Absolutely, they did. The Rebels definitely got the job done. Point spreads now, Alabama minus six and a half at home. Okay, to me, that gives value to Alabama with Coach Saban. Okay, I think he can coach this team up. Don't ask me how. Okay, I don't know. But I think he can coach this team up. And with it less than a touchdown, I think they can they can cover that. Also, like the fact that Coach Saban in Alabama, fifteen and five against spread off a uh, off a road game in which they won but did not cover, and sixteen and five against teams that have a turnover of plus one or better. I'm going to take Alabama minus the six and a half here for today's free play video. All right, so we have that. So again, quick recap for you: uh, six unit best bets going in football on Saturday and Sunday, plus eight unit package, or eight unit, not eight units, eight play package in football this upcoming weekend, okay? Looking to do damage, okay? I told you I made look to make some changes. I did. We'll see what happens, okay, from that standpoint, to be able to get that done. Uh, so we have that on Friday. I got a Major League Baseball play, National League Game of the Day. I will have probably something else on Saturday for, for baseball and or and or maybe a prop. And then today, also CFL action, Canadian football. Like I said, 11 to 6 runs. So really been on a good good run there. Okay, so all that, Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Uh, uh, West Coast Wise Guys, Friday, NC State minus the 7.5 over Virginia. Saturday, BYU plus the 9.5 over Kansas. For the West Coast Wise Guys, that's two plays for you, okay, taking care of you from that standpoint. All right, so that's what I got for you. I will have an NFL play for Sunday, so be sure, sure to watch that. This is Doug Upton for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.